Jesus. Last record. Words have come to be known as the Great Commission. Ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Acts 1.8 The book of Acts was written by Luke. Is the story of men of the men and women who took the commission seriously and began to spread the news of the risen Savior to the most remote corners of the known world. Each section of the book. 1 through 7, 8 through 12, 13 through 28 focuses on the on a particular audience, a key personality, and a significant phrase, a significant phase in the expansion of the gospel message. As the second volume in a two-part work by Luke this book probably had no separate title, but all available Greek manuscripts designated it by the title Praxeis, P-R-A-X-E-I-S, Acts, or by an expanded title like the Acts of the Apostles, Praxius, was com- commonly used in Greek literature to summarize the accomplishments of outstanding men while the apostles are mentioned collectively at several points. This book really, r- really records the acts of Peter first 1 through 12 and Paul 13 through 28 the former treaties have I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until, until the day in which he was taken up after that he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles, the apostles, whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 15, 5 through 7. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father which saith he ye have heard of me for John truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence when they thereafter were come together they asked of him saying Lord wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons in which the father hath put in his own power but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come 
upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. Out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Luke 24, 4. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up, from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Then returned they unto Jerusalem for the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey, Luke twenty four fifty two. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, an upper room where abode both Peter and James, John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew. James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, Zelotus, Judas, the brother of James, Luke 9.37, 39.20, and 8, Luke 22 and 12. These all continued with one accord, with one accord one accord in prayer and supplication with the women Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brother Luke 2 1 through 46 Matthew 13 55 Luke 2 1 and 46 and in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about a hundred and twenty. Men and brethren, this scripture must need have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas which was guided to the to them that took Jesus for he was numbered with us he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry he had obtained part of this ministry now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out 